Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I brought you down to Farnham in Westis Surrey and to Farnham Castle, a place I haven't been to since 2009. We did a video diary from here back then, I remember that, it's actually on, on this channel being remastered. And yeah, lovely Farnham Castle, built by Henry de Bloy in 1138, who was the grandson of William the Conqueror. And it became the home for the bishops of Winchester, a very grand palace for, for hundreds of years. It's a magnificent ruin. Let's have a little look around. The original building was demolished by Henry II during what is called the War of Anarchy, which I've never heard of before. There was a little war in the mid 1100s between England and Normandy. I must say I've never heard that phrase before, um, but this is all part of, sort of some of the original original building. That's a really long way down. Oh gosh. <laughs> Lovely. I'm sure I remember paying when we came here in 2009, but it's free access, it's open access um, here. I mean, if you can, you can park in Farnham Castle's little car park there, as long as there's an event going on. Uh, but there's plenty of car parks in the high street. Um, there's only sort of a short walk up to here from there. Yeah, I had to read up on the War of Anarchy. It was all about a war on succession, who's going to the throne um, back in the 1100s. Very interesting, I'll have to read a little bit more into that. King John was a frequent visitor here. Good old King John. And it really is a fine example of a stone Mott and Bailey castle, it really is. There's been occupation in Farnham going right back to the Paleolithic era. It's a pre-Mesolithic, right back to the Paleolithic era. That's a long, long time, thousands and thousands of years. I find that absolutely fascinating that it's been occupied and a constant occupation in this area since that time, since the Paleolithic era. Paleolithic era. Get your pronunciation right, English. Oh, it's a lovely day today, very hot. Traffic getting here was a nightmare. I'm a bit behind, I got lunch booked at the, um, the mill at Elstead near Waverley Abbey. We're not going to Waverley Abbey because I did a very good video from there two years ago um, and uh, I don't think I could better that. Um, we'll see, uh, but yeah, lunch later on. It's lovely, very, very nice. Oh, very nice, drinking game. Ooh. And I've got here, no one else here, no one else here. Even during the Civil War, Farnham Castle was really important. It stood between King Charles I in the West and his royalist supporters in Kent. It also guarded routes to gunpowder production and iron founding centres in the South and South East. So Farnham Castle was really important during the English Civil War. Like Betchworth Castle and a few other castles we have around here, we'd like to see them in their original glory and how they look back in the day. You've got artist renditions, you've got records, but actually see it in its full glory. That'd be amazing, absolutely amazing. There's a moat that goes around the castle, obviously dry now.
amazing craftsmanship of the stonework above. Stone is very durable, isn't it? It does last a long time. I always wonder, will your house still be there in what, a thousand years' time? So there you go, just a quick visit to Farnham Castle. Absolutely amazing ruin. I really recommend coming here if you can. And now we're gonna go on to our next location on this little mini adventure. Door alert, door alert. So I've brought you to St Andrew's Church in the centre of Farnham. It's a 12th century church, but they actually found Saxon foundations. So it's a very old church indeed. Um, absolutely lovely on this gloriously warm day. Let's have a little look around. Here we are, this is what I was looking for. The tomb of William Cobbett, pamphleteer, political reformer, author. He wrote that Rural Rides we've mentioned in a few videos. And he's buried here with his uh, wife, Anne. Son of George and Anne Corbett, born in this parish of Farnham, 9th of March, 1762. big church very big here's the font circa 15th century 15th century this font wow it's lovely very big I'm not feeling the vibe though you know I said recently about you being churches and do you feel the vibe this one I'm not absolutely not I thought I would it's it's a very mishmash and in places can I say a little bit tacky um, yeah, sorry. And then you find these little gems uh, in memory of John Buckham Gent, <laughs> who died January the 16th, 1730, age 64. And Jane, his wife, who died November the 30th, 1753, age 89 years, 89. I won't do my usual thing. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's too many people walking in and out. Yeah, it's lovely. This is the Lady Chapel, which is circa 13th century, 13th century. So one of the much older parts of the uh, church. Here's another one. He lied the body, another gentleman. They're all gentlemen. You couldn't say that nowadays, could you? And he died in 1570. 1570. So that would have been when parish records started being a legal requirement of parishes, if I'm correct. There'll always somebody who correct me. Um, but I do believe that's, that's interesting. Nice screen. Lovely. Lovely again. Drinking game.
I like this idea. Oh, and there is it, yeah. St. Andrew's, a personal prayer area. Isn't that nice? So imagine even if you're not religious, you can come in here and do a bit of a meditation. You know, I've said before, you walk into church, you automatically speak quietly. That's a great idea. Okay, we're now going to move on. It's lunchtime, and we're going to the mill at Elstead, an ancient mill. Let's go. I think the last time I was in Farnham was about 11 years ago, seeing Seth Lakeman at the Maltlands. I think I need to come back and do a proper, proper video on fun. I keep finding little nooks and crannies and he's investigating. There you go, a lovely mill at the mill in Elstead. Originally, this was a mill built in 1647, that burnt down, and this was built in 1648 as a working mill. And now, obviously, these days, it's a lovely pub. Fantastic wolf to wheel in there, amazing. Uh, so you like this little video from Farnham? We've been to uh, Farnham Castle, St Andrew's Church, and now here, the mill in Elstead. Do the old usual stuff, please like, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you next time. Take care.